way, this is a family affair. We had uh, the honor and privilege of meeting the Mossy family and the Gregory family. And uh, Linda, thank you for so many years of taking care of this knucklehead and serving as Stephen. So nice to meet you. Uh, in spirit, uh, here is Rachel, who is serving in China, and uh, who is a volunteer in the Peace Corps. Uh, Linda's father, Pete, is here. And uh, Pete, I want to thank you for your daughter's service. For all these years, she too served to, to take care of uh, not only Chris, but of course our service. And uh, Linda's sisters, Wanda and Allie. Gregory family, met Bob Gregory here, and uh, we promoted Kate. And I think there was a little bit of pride uh, going to that. That was very nice. So Elaine here, Joanne, and brother Jim. And uh, I see that the Mafia is here from the CBs. All the former uh, uh, chiefs are here, as well as all various and sundry. We put them all in the same place so we can get track of, of them. Ladies and gentlemen, Rear Admiral Christopher J. Malsey, Civil Engineer Corps, United States Navy, Commander, Naval Facilities Engineering Command, and Chief of Civil Engineers. Well, good morning, everybody. consider everyone that's here a distinguished guest, and I look out in the crowd, and every face I see is someone that I know, someone I've served with. Now, when I'm asked someday, it could be as soon as Monday, what I did in the Navy, my answer is going to be very simple. I was a Navy CB. Every single day, our CBs make important contributions to the Navy in support of our CNO's three tenets. We're fighting first, operate forward. As the CNO said, over 2,000 CBs active and reserve are forward deployed at this moment. They're operating in 25 countries from Afghanistan to Djibouti to Cambodia. They're engaged across the entire spectrum of military operations, from combat support to responding to natural disasters to completing theater security cooperation projects. The cadre of officers in the Civil Engineer Corps today have never been more operationally experienced, active, and reserved. The young officers have never been sharper or more motivated, or more motivated to serve. Now, there's not a more qualified officer to take the time to lead NAFAC and the CECC community in our case Ladies and gentlemen, Rear Admiral Catherine L. Gregory, Civil Engineer Corps, United States Navy, Commander, Naval Facilities Engineering Command, and Chief of Civil Engineers.
to high high school. school. Lastly, I would just like to say we are so fortunate to have this opportunity to lead, to influence people and things for the future. Few people have the opportunity to make a difference in someone's lives. And that is what we get paid to do every day. We have the opportunity to, to shape the lives of the people that work for us and with us. We have the opportunity to shape the ability of our warfighters to execute their missions. We have such an opportunity to head ahead, and I am so excited about it. I hope that you share that excitement. I look forward to working with you. Let's get started. Thank you very much. Yes, please remain standing. In keeping with time honored naval tradition, Rear Admiral Mossy will now be piped ashore. Rear Admiral, Civil Engineer Corps, United States Navy and Family, retired, departing. 